For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to do voiceover narration. Now, if you've not seen my open shot tutorial series, be sure to check that out. I will leave it in the description area below. Now, one of the things that I think a lot of people like to do when they get into a lot of video is the fact that they like to add their own voiceovers or narration for certain types of videos that they make. The only problem is within open shot, there is not a built in voiceover tool you know you see this in a lot of other video editors where there is a microphone option where you can record your narration over your video in real time um, but unfortunately that feature is not available here now this is not a problem that most people cannot uh, work around because a lot of people they actually record their audio separately in a different audio program now within Linux you do have quite a few options okay but for the majority of people they're going to use something like audacity which is what i'm going to show you today you could also use something like sound recorder okay now sound recorder if you go to your software manager and you just type in sound recorder it'll come up with gnome sound recorder okay so if i go here to sound and video and sound recorder it's right there okay this is a very easy and simple to use tool to record the only problem with it is it doesn't give you a lot of options like for example here I cannot choose which mic to use okay now if anybody knows how to do this within sound recorder let me know uh, but it doesn't give you a lot of control so that's why in terms of audio recording I use audacity but if you learn how to use audacity um, you could actually use this on many different platforms because it is multi-platform and it's extremely powerful so you could do a lot more sophisticated uh, type of work on there now one thing I do want to mention is you want to make sure that you choose the right microphone okay so when you go over here there's an audio host with this Elsa and then you could choose the proper microphone that you want to record with okay now if you are recording at the same time um, as you are doing screen recording uh, hopefully you won't have any potential issues uh, but that's how you would do it you would choose the appropriate uh, mic and then you would simply start recording uh, like for example I could do a test right here I am recording this video right now and then stop it then you can press play recording this so you know just make sure that you have the right uh, microphone okay so you're gonna have to do some testing first and if you have a uh, mic like I do uh, which is actually a mono mic the majority of mics are mono be sure you choose mono recording otherwise if you record in stereo it'll only come out on one side of the speaker okay so make sure you choose mono okay so now that we kind of have an idea of how to get audacity set up what I recommend you do is you minimize this and let's go ahead and do file new we'll do new project and I'll close this one and now that we know that our mic works and what you also want to do is right click on this particular window and make it always on top so that if you're clicking anywhere else this will always show okay now the problem is since this is not built into open shot you will have problems with syncing the audio during your narration like for example I can't press play and record at the same time okay uh, there's probably a way you can do that but there's two separate programs okay now before we get into that what I want to show you is how you would set this up and get this ready okay now obviously if you already have a clip here um, if you press play mm -hmm. you know if you already have audio then obviously you don't want the audio there so the way that you could actually uh, lower the audio or remove it is you could right click on it volume entire clip and just make it zero okay now you could also separate the audio as well but I actually want to keep the audio in there if in case I need to use it so I normally just go volume entire clip level zero okay so let's go ahead and test that out and you might hear it at the beginning but see now it's mute so there's no audio and so 
how you would actually narrate over this since you can't really start it at the same time in an easy way what I recommend you do is just move this clip over okay um, so like say maybe a few seconds later so then that gives you time to go over to this program and then hit record okay so let me show you how that's work it's not the most elegant way but I think it's the simplest way for me uh, so that you don't have to rush and at the same time you could sync it with the video okay and so if I go back to open shot I press play okay and I could come back here and then when it gets to the video you, okay so we're actually heading into the store right now uh, we're looking for some real cool old school electronics and we're gonna try to get a amazing deal on some of these phone cases okay so you can stop it there then you go back to open shot and so you could move this all the way back to the beginning and now you could test out this audio okay so we're actually heading into this so they recorded the audio correctly now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and export this audio okay now you can also uh, save this whole audacity project as well okay say in the future you wanted to uh, do some more enhancements to the audio or reduce the background noise you could do that as well but in this case I just want to export the audio and you have many different options you could export it in many different formats but to keep it simple I'll just do mp3 for now I already have one there test record one let's do test record one again I'll just overwrite this okay and there's like I said there's many other options you could do with audacity but I just want to make it simple so let's say save okay let's go ahead and minimize this and now that we have our audio clip go ahead and add it right here in the folder I have it in this recordings right there and we'll just drop it right here okay then let's press play okay so we're actually heading into the store right now uh, we're looking for some real cool old so that way you have some really simple narration of course you could do some more things you could adjust the volume here okay uh, so to you know lower or make it louder if you want um, you could also come here to the volume level as well right there you could adjust the volume level at a more granular level right down here okay and so that is a very simple way how you can do a narration on your videos you know it's not unfortunately it's not built into open shot I wish it was but that's one way that you can do it and that's actually a lot of ways that people actually add audio to their video because they do want to have a lot more control over their audio okay so if you had any questions about voiceovers or narrations or if you had your own techniques on doing this within open shot then please leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos leave a like and subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.